for um, noted trainer Tim Rycroft too. They've been very high percentage all year long. In goes the one, Great Griffin. We've got a scratch on the two, Sluice Academy, down to a field of eight with the Xactor Triactor Superfecta wagering. And you got to find that value for second and third place with the heavy, heavy favorite, Professor Pollard. He'll step into the gate here momentarily. You have to wonder what's running through the mind of Hal Beal, the ownership group behind Professor Pollard. You know what happened in the Canadian Derby. You want redemption today if you're Hal Beal. We're about to find out. Sugar Doyle will call the Beaufort Stakes for $50,000 taken away. Hard to be humble, Zentano. The heavy favorite at two to five, Professor Pollard and Rico. Just two more to load. Winning on the outside starter, a little restless behind the gate is My Lucky 13 with Martinez. As this one moves in. And now we're waiting on Tiny Giant and Hyler. One back. Moving into position. Tiny Giant. They're standing in line. The Rock. And it's a slow start for Great Griffin along the inside spot of the field. Five lengths. Jumping out quickly. Tiny Giant. Professor Pollard up into it early, in between runners and going through, there goes Baron Von Speed. On the inside, the race now at a third, hard to be humble, so we've got some long shots on the front end here as they go around the opening turn. Tiny Giant has a lead of three lengths. Second best, hard to be humble, Baron Von Speed out there in third, up along the inside, my lucky 13 through an opening quarter, 23 and four. Tiny Giant is a live wire on the front here for Hyler. One lap to go in the Beaufort Stakes. They're all chasing Tiny Giant into turn number two. Hard to be humble second. Third best along the inside. My lucky 13. Regrouping. Now showing fourth. That is Great Griffin. Professor Pollard yet to be heard from along the inside in fifth. That is back to Baron Vaughn Speed. Second from last. Maximus Potential. And uh, well back to the trailer there as they head on down the backside. Tiny Giant at the 3 8 pole. The lead is still six lengths. Tiny Giant has a big time lead here coming through for second now. That is my lucky 13. Professor Pollard has now found his best drive. A lot of work to do though at the quarter pole. Tiny Giant still maintains the lead of four. The Professor, yeah, he's got fighting on his mind right now. He's gained and he's coming up to Tiny Giant. Professor Pollard with five. Professor Pollard at one to two and a total board is going to rip the bridles off of him here in the Beaufort Stakes. Down to the Derby, up for it in the Beaufort. Congratulations, Halfield Sycamore Stables, Professor Pollard. Tiny Giant second, third went to My Lucky 13, Jack Attack on for the board. Now that is redemption for <laughs> Professor Pollard. He had to be 15 lengths out of it when they came in front of the grandstand the first time. He was still 10 lengths out of it up the back stretch when they straightened away. But I'll tell you what, Rico Walcott, it had to feel good for him and Hal Beal, the Stone Ranches, Jim Mayer, the whole crew to run down the rest of the field and get the win. It was a very taxing early pace, though. Tiny Giant, he was game, but he was uncontested. The half mile was 46 and change, and it did look like there's just no way they could catch him, but what a horse. You know, an interesting, the start of the race, and we're going to show it right here. Watch this. You know, just a horrible start up in the air for Great Griffin, and that changed the race on the front end. Tiny Giant was able to be there all by himself, and, you know, he did weather and did fall a bit down the lane in terms of his energy level, and that, I think, was uh, part of the reason why Professor Pollard looks so good at rounding the final turn. We are sp speaking originally, we thought Great Griffin and Tiny Giant would hook up on the front end and it would set up perfectly, but obviously we didn't need anybody to hook on to the speedster there because Professor Pollard was just that much worse. There he is, right there, coming to the top of the lane, Professor Pollard. And you have to give credit to Rico Walcott. He didn't panic when he was 16 lengths out of it. He didn't hurry his horse. He said, let's stick to the game plan. Let's pull the right string at the right time near the final turn. Turn. And congratulations to Rico. He didn't have the ride in Canadian Derby Day and Professor Pollard because, of course, he had the winner, no hesitation. But this is a, such a great sign 
for an Alberta brand to come back and win like this today. So, we're on our way to commercial timeout. We've got lots more still to come this afternoon. Another race for you indeed. So stay with us across the CTV Alberta Network. From Zentino with Wired 220. The favorite, Cool Ventura, Winston.